Hi guys, welcome to Calculus Crush. Today we're going to be using the product rule of calculus to calculate the derivative of this function up here. First I'll start by writing what the product rule is. So if we have y equals f times g, so the product of two functions, then the derivative of y, y prime, is just the derivative of f times g plus f times the derivative of g. If you don't know where this comes from, this is the product rule. If you don't know where this comes from, you can click on this formula and it'll bring you to a derivation of this product rule using the definition of the derivative. Before we get started, it's very clear what the two functions are. This is the first function. So we could call this f and this is the second function and we can call this g. So we know we have a product here but before we start we should rewrite this expression because it's uh, not very easy to take derivatives when uh, they look like this. So we'll start off by moving all of the exponents up to the top. So this becomes x to the power of minus 2 minus 3x to the power of minus 4. And then g, the second function here, this is fine. We can just rewrite it. So this is a much, uh, much easier way to look at it when we apply the power rule, which is kind of the basic rule that we apply in most derivatives. Okay, now we actually have a couple of options to do this problem. Since it's just uh, these two functions multiplied, we can actually distribute them. And then we don't even have to use the product rule. We can just use the power rule. But since this is the product rule question, let's use the product rule first. So let's begin. The y prime will equal the derivative of this first function, which is negative 2x to the minus 3 plus 12x to the minus 5. So just using the power rule to take the derivative of the first function. Now we have to multiply it by the second function, g, which is just x plus 5x cubed, plus the first function, x minus 2 minus 3x minus 4 times the derivative of g. So the derivative of x is just 1 plus 15x squared. Okay, so the derivative technically is complete, but we should do some simplification. So what I'm going to do is expand all of these terms. So first, we're going to times these two together, and we end up with negative 2x to the minus 2. Now we're going to do these two, and we get negative 10 and x to the power of minus 3 times x to the power of 3, that's x to the power of 0, which is just 1. Okay, now the third term, we're doing these two guys, and that will be plus 12x to the minus 4. And then these two guys, plus 60 x to the minus 2. Okay. Now these two plus x to the minus 2 and the outside plus 15 and x to the minus 2 times x to the 2 that's just x to the 0 which is 1. Now the inside which will just be minus 3x to the minus 4 and then the last one will be minus 45x to the minus 2. So we got all these terms here we need to collect them so let's see which ones are alike. Well we've got let's look at x minus 2, x to the power of minus 2 now. 1, 2, which I better, better underline them so we got this term, this term, this one, and this one. So negative 2 
plus 60, that's 58, plus 1, that's 59, minus 45, that's 14. So we have 14 x to the minus 2. I'm just going to get rid of these guys so I don't get mixed up. All right, next one. We have got negative 10 and plus 15. So that will be plus 5. Now we can get rid of them. What else we got? x to the power of minus 4 is got plus 12 and we've got minus 3 and these are our last two terms so plus 12 and minus 3 is equal to 9 plus 9x to the minus 4 so this is it but I'm going to do one more step because I don't like x to the power of negative things so I'm going to factor out an x to the power of minus 4 and I'm left over with 14x squared plus 5x to the power of 4 plus 9. So you can leave it like that, or if you really don't like x to the power of negative, then you can just maybe write something like this. 1 over x to the power of 4 times 5x to the power of 4 plus 14x squared plus 9. So y prime. We can actually do one more step here. This quadratic expression, well, it actually is not a quadratic expression. It's a, I guess it's a quartic expression, but uh, we can actually factor this. So the way we do it is as follows. We need, so we got 5x to the power of 4 plus, we need to break up this 14x squared into ax squared plus bx squared and these are the this is the criteria a times b has to equal 9 times 5 and a plus b has to equal 14 so what two numbers multiply to be 45 and add to be 14 well that's just 9 and 5 so we'll split it up into 5x squared plus 9x squared plus 9. So now we can factor out a 5x squared from the first two terms. And what we're left over with is x squared plus 1. And then from the last two terms, we can factor out a 9 and what we're left over with is x squared plus 1. So I'm just going to move up here now. So what we have in the end is these two, 5x squared plus 9, times x squared plus 1. And there it is, our final formula. Took a little bit of time to get there, but we made it. Now you can also do this problem using the power rule. I'm not going to do it in this video, but it's actually much faster. Uh, and all you'd have to do is, before we actually take the derivative, you would do one more step where you would expand this expression. And then you wouldn't have to use the product rule, you could just use the power rule, and you get the answer a little bit faster. Thanks for watching, until next time.